So what you can also do is tell ChatGPT to generate Microsoft Word documents. So to do that over here in the prompt, I'm going to go around and first explain what I want it to generate content of. So I'm going to go around and say, make a document regarding uh, different types of computers on the basis of size and performance right here, just like this. So this is what I have. So now I'm saying make a document regarding different types of computers on the basis of size and performance. And now what I need to do is I need to go around and add in more details so that it generates the content as a document for Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go around and say, uh, uh, write this content as a visual basic code that I can run as a module in Microsoft Word, just like this. So I'm saying make a document regarding different types of computers on the basis of size and performance. And I'm saying write this content as a visual basic code that I can run as a module in Microsoft Word. So in, you, you cannot miss this. I, um, write this content as visual basic code that I can run as a module in Microsoft Word. I can also add in more formatting details after that. For example, I can say, uh, make sure that you give uh, um, uh, uh, that you uh, that uh, that you make the heading sizes twelve um, uh, twelve point uh, or fourteen points point font size and give body text twelve point font size so I can go around and do that and also say make sure to use uh, to use a specific color for headings and then another color color for body text so I'm just going to go around over here if you can be more specific, the more specific you are, the better for heading um, uh, for headings and another color for body text right here. So I'm just going to go around and hit send. And what happens is that it generates a visual basic code right here, just like this. So you can also see that there's the heading right here, as you can see right here. And then there's the body text font right here, just like this. It used certain color for heading and it simply used black for uh, the body text, as you can see. So that's the Visual Basic code and I'm simply going to go around and copy this and now it's time to head over to Microsoft Word. Once you do that, you need to come over to the Developer tab right here. If you don't see the Developer tab, then you need to enable it. And to do that, you need to right click on the ribbon and then go to Customize the Ribbon. And over here, you can see that Developer is an option that you can enable and disable. So simply go around and check out the Developer checkbox right here and press OK. So once you do that, you, you can go around onto Visual Basic and then you get this window. So now what you need to do is you need to go around onto Insert and choose Module and simply paste out the code that you copied out. Once you do that, simply go around and run it and then simply run it out right here. So once you do that, what happens is that it runs out the code over here and this is what you have. This doesn't seem to be one right here. So this seems to be the old code that I have. Let me just go around and run this right here, just like this. And then what happens is that you can see another content is generated. And this is what you have with the different font sizes and so forth, as you can see. So now you can see that there's different types of computers. It's on uh, 14 point font size. This is 12, this is 14 and so forth, as you can see with different um, um, colored headings and you can see that this is what you have right here. And this is how you can go around and generate Microsoft Word documents from ChatGPT. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.